We can still smack a bitch in the face with my hair. Hi guys, it's your girl London and I'm back again with another video. This video is all about getting ready with me for my photo shoot. Those are my outfits on the bed. That's why it's looking kind of crazy. But don't worry about that. So yeah, I just showed you guys how I did my foundation and concealer and highlighting routine. I didn't really get my eyes because my eyes was giving me such a hard time. I have hooded eyes, so it was kind of complicated to get this glittery look, but it came out good still. And my bright ring light is not showing you guys exactly what it looks like, but hopefully I can insert a video with the light off showing you, you know, the glitz and the glamour of what I got going on. And the hair that I'm wearing is my London's Hair Shop hair in the inches 22. Sorry. <laughs> 20 inch frontal. Uh, two inches are 228, a 26, and a 24. So I have four bundles in my hair. Still nice, thin, full. After, I would say I got this hair around my birthday, which was October. So we're in December, about to be in January. So this is what my hair still looks like. And I just co washed it like a week ago. and. I let it air dry, applied it onto my head, and styled it out for you guys. So you guys see how I got this nice flawless look. With little to no product, I used an oil, an argan oil, um, it's called argan oil, arganology. It's like a salon product. So that's what keeps my hair nice and moisturized, not greasy, still flowy still moving could still smack a bitch in the face with my hair if I wanted to I'm just kidding but yeah so if you'd like to see how I got this finished and look keep watching Mwah. orange that I put on my face so how do you guys feel that the holidays is coming up it's like two days away I feel like Christmas came really fast And I feel like Thanksgiving came fast too. Like it, it came mad fast. Comment down below. Comment. Comment down below if you feel the same way. If Christmas came too quick. Like I wasn't even prepared. Thank God I started a little Christmas shopping in November. And then I recently got my boyfriend his gift. Like couple days ago but I got my mom her gifts like a week ago so yeah today I'm gonna be lazy and I'm going to spray my beauty blender with the Mario Badescu skin care facial spray I have the rose water one I don't feel like going to my bathroom. Apply the Essence Lash and Brow Gel Mascara onto my eyebrows. And I'm just going to use this to keep the little sparse hairs that I have in place. dry a little bit so I already prepped my face with the elf prep and hydrate balm it looks like this this is honestly so good and today I'm using the NYX total control yeah deep foundation drop foundation actually in the color mocha and I like how you can just drop So orange but it does oxidize okay so my favorite thing to highlight and contour with is the revolution makeup revolution london concealer color c13 i'm just gonna apply that at the sides of my nose especially I'm running out. I need to buy another one. 
And these are so affordable, it's only $7. And this is the only concealer that I've been using for a couple of months now. Like, ever since I bought it, I have not given it up. At all. I normally don't cream contour because I haven't found, like, a perfect cream contour shade. And I feel like it gets muddy. Like, the contour be going into my highlight. I just can't do that. So, I'm going to powder contour. Normally, I use the, um black radiance powder in the color mocha but that broke and I need to buy another one so I'm using a brown eyeshadow out of the morphe 35 n palette so I don't think I told you guys what kind of shoot that I'm doing today it's a Christmas shoot but it's for my hair company so all my outfits and stuff is on my bed. That's why it looks a little junky. And my wigs are on my bed because I think I'm wearing a couple of different wigs. Oh my god, there's glitter on my makeup. <sighs> so I'm wearing a couple of different wigs. And the outfits are cute. I just can't wait to see the finishing product and show my creative side. So yeah, I'm excited for that and I have to get these pictures out before Christmas. I was supposed to do this um, like a couple of days ago so I can have them ready for Christmas. I mean, I still have two days left. but. I'm excited to see what the pictures look like. Now can we get a sleigh? I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in dark 40. And I'm just gonna take some from the container and put it in the cap. Because this could really make you look red and orangey. So I just take a little bit of it. And I'm gonna go all over my face to make sure everything blends into each other. Bring it down to your neck because I am wearing stuff that's going to expose my neck <laughs> I 
then if I blend in my face a little too much, I just go back in with my contour brush and just go back in, add more definition. And blend out my nose again, because it's not blended at the sides. Okay, I'm back, I look a mess, don't judge me. <laughs> but I am going to highlight my face and then I'm gonna add blush and then I'm gonna start with my hair in that order. So I just gotta find my hair. My makeup desk is a chaos. Um, I'm using the Laura Geller New York Highlighter in Gilded Honey. I love this highlighter. Ever since I got it, that's all I've been using too. And a dupe for this is the Maybelline Chrome Master highlighter, something like that. That's a dupe. It's like the same. I think the the Maybelline one is a little less expensive, but they still look good. My Maybelline one just keeps breaking on me. Like I drop it, that thing is broken. I'm just tired of it. So I use this one. It's nice and cute and small. You know, gets the job done travel size. I like that it's travel size. So I'm just going to highlight these areas. Highlight above my eyebrows so I can look like I'm really glowing from within even though I'm not. Okay. Then I'm going to highlight in the inner corners of my eyes. That's legit my signature. Like, my makeup does not feel complete unless my inner corner is highlighted. And again, I'm doing a photo shoot, so I need to look as extra as I can. Next, I'm going to add some blush to add some warmth back into my... Every time I look away and look back at the camera, the camera gets bright. Like, not bright for no reason. And I love this lip liner so much. This and the Kali Jenner lip liner. By far. So I do that and lingerie liquid lipstick and baby doll. And I'm gonna apply that all in the middle. But you can use any like pink lipstick. And I'm gonna <laughs> let that dry down. And if it doesn't dry down fast enough, I just use the um, translucent powder and just apply it right on top. make it nice and matte then I'm gonna go back in with some <laughs> now that your lips feel dehydrated you're on the right track my lips feel so stiff. And I'm just gonna highlight my Cupid's bow again. Just so it could pop. Look at my wig. Imagine if I wore it like this. Like, guys, send me back home, please. Now I'm gonna use my Makeup Revolution lip topper in Exquisite. And I'm just gonna apply that 
All right. On top. And no matter how cute your makeup is, if your hair looks a mess, you're going to look a mess, as you can see. So I'm going to pull that back. I'm going to apply some powder a little bit. Just to darken my cap up, because obviously you can see this is not my color. So I'm going to take my wig off. going to apply some foundation powder I don't really care about the color to be honest I just don't want my part being so bright So this is how I do my wigs when I'm lazy. I'm going to be using my Got To Be Food Blasting Freezing Spray. Put my wig right back on. Look how cute it looks. And it's not even on. That's what happens when you shop in London's here, shop Zuckcom. Look how natural that looks. <sighs> but I'm going to spray my hair. We'll spray wherever my lace is gonna be. So my lace is going to stop right here. Maybe I don't want my forehead to be that big. Let me see. Here or back here? I don't know. You guys tell me. I think right here is good. And you do not want it to soak down into your makeup. That's why I usually do your makeup first, but I decided to do my, I mean, that's why you do your hair first. I just decided to do my, look, it's already spreading. You gotta hold your head up. Or you're gonna have shiny stuff like how I do, dripping all down my forehead. Which is a hot mess. Okay. Now I'm gonna get my bow. I prefer that over glue because I just like to take my hair off at night. So your girl is back by putting some serum in my hair because this hair is just washed and thrown into a corner. So it's not even moisturized, not even styled. It's not even brushed out actually. I just threw it on my head. So if you want to know where I got this hair from, it's from Londonshairshop.com. And I'll leave the link right here at the bottom of the screen. Man, I feel like my forehead looks Mad big. Mad big. So I'm just gonna disperse all the serum throughout my hair. Baby hair is not a crunchy glue. Baby hair is in my face. But if that's what you like, to each his own. 
nothing wrong with that. I just don't like that. Don't mind this side. As I said, I'm not doing the air tabs of my hair. So that's gonna get covered up anyways.
Hi guys, so I'm back with straightening my hair. Y'all see how silky it is. I don't gotta convince y'all. Shop at lensishairshop.com for the holidays. You know, get your girl something nice. And girl, get yourself something nice too. So, y'all see it. But I just straightened it off camera. Um, I added some serum onto it. This has been my favorite serum. It's called Art. So this wraps up the finishing look. You know, I did a bold eye with nude lips. I might change my lip color at the end. I don't know, to a red. I really don't like anything else but a glossy pink lip. But, you know, for the shoot, I gotta do what I gotta do. So, thank you guys for watching. And I thank you guys for all the subscribers. I wanna get to 1K by... I'm not gonna say the end of the year. But, you know, in a couple months because I'm doing a big giveaway, you know. Because I want to thank you guys for supporting your girl through my journey. But also, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, that like button. It does so much for me and it helps me out a lot. And helps you guys out a lot, you know. I know that if you guys like my video, that I will upload more because you guys want to see content from me. But, yeah, hit that like button hit that subscribe button even hit that bell button so you know exactly when i post a video and you guys will get notified so what else do i gotta say oh also follow me on instagram my ig is underscore keeping up with london just like my youtube so if you don't know how to spell it just look on my youtube name and yeah i follow that girls girls guys i follow back so follow me on my instagram it's just so you guys can know get to know me on a personal level um you guys get to see me post pics what i'm into etc etc but yeah thank you guys for watching i love you guys so much bye